Hi there, oh, welcome to my views and news. Three new stories. Firstly, Alam Gabrevaid, senior TPLF Debretsian wing leader, very critical of Gita Chaurida, spoke in Aksom, I think, yesterday. The man is ferocious in his criticism of uh, Gita Chaurida's government. He's the, he's the one who opposed Gita Chaurida's nomination when TPLF nominated him for the slot of Tegarai interim president. Since then, he has been uh, working against Gitacho. Now, the Bratzian Gitacho at odds and uh, uh, Alim playing freely. What did he say in Aksom? Secondly, uh, Farah Malim, Kenyan member of parliament, again spoke about Ethiopia Somalia tension. Farah has been under fire for his remarks about protesters in Kenya. He is a staunch supporter of uh, Somali nationalism. What did he say? He's, it seems that he warned PM Abi. By the way, he was a big supporter of PM Abi during the war on Tigray. And lastly, a rally held in support of Fano. Now Fano fighters, Fano groups are becoming so strong that they take control of cities, towns, people march in support of them. Hundreds were seen in support of Fano marching there in a town in the Maharashtra. Let's start yours from Tegarai, where a war of words between two TPLF groups is continuing unabated, no de-escalation, no diffusing the tension. Rather, with every passing day, new allegations are being leveled. Both are washing their dirty linen. They are spilling the beans. They are trying to tarnish each other's image, but basically both are losing credibility in the eyes of the people of Tegra. Both groups, Kitacho and the Bratzian groups. The Bratzian group is on the offensive these days. The, the Bratzian group leaders are holding meetings. Uh, public discussions are being held indoor, obviously, and at the discussions, serious allegations are being leveled against Gita Choreda group. They are being portrayed as traitors, as working against Tigray's interests, working against the interests of Tigrayans. So we heard what uh, Munjarino said before that. Uh, the person didn't pull any punches, and then uh, Alim spoke in Aksom yesterday. Alim is CC member, member of Central Committee of the party. Uh, he has been very uh, critical of Gita Chaurada. He opposed Gita Chaurada's uh, nomination by TPLF, or election by TPLF for a interim president slot. Uh, but Gita Chaurada was elected uh, and Gita Chaurada was appointed as interim president. But even after that, uh, LM never uh, developed good ties with uh, Gitacho and uh, he always worked against Gitacho's government. Alim spoke in Aksom yesterday and Alim used very strong language against Gita Chorada group. He called them parasites. Secondly, he said that these people are the group led by Gitacho is an existential threat to Tegra. Tegra's existence is in danger if this group is not removed from power. And thirdly, he claimed that this group, Tegra interim government, he mentioned Tegra interim government too, that Tegra interim government, Gitacho group, they have weakened the bargaining power of Tegarai, because this group has made alliance with Prosperity Party. That is why Tegarayan's interests are not being protected. Now, TPLF will now ensure that Tegarai's bargaining power is restored. Very strong words used by uh, LM Gabriel before that, Munjurino. 
made similar remarks to Bratzian as well. When will this war of words and no one knows? Uh, Sadkan spoke to in Idara Hamas on Wednesday, calling for the destruction of those who are trying to divide the people of Tigray along regional lines. Both propagating their narrative. Let's see what the people of Tigray will decide. The second new story is about Fano. Before that, uh, let me speak a little about the previous video today. Or previous, the first video today, uh, which was about Burhana Jula. Jula's five minute long uh, talk with a YouTuber was uploaded on this channel. And several viewers said, Sajid, you uh, did not get right translation. Jula was calling for Ethiopian unity and you talked as if Jula was calling for Oromo dominance in Ethiopia. I rechecked the translation. I got a translation from an Afan Romo speaker too. Yes, Jula was calling for Ethiopian unity. At the same time, the way he was talking, it seemed as if he was representing Oromos. It's very clear that the man sounded as if he was representing Oromos. He should be very careful. These people who are in top positions, they should talk about Ethiopia. They should talk about unity and their words should be backed by actions too. Jula speaks very irresponsibly. This is not the first time. In the past too, Jula has passed some very controversial remarks. He speaks too much. I don't know why he gives interviews to uh, YouTube channels with uh, what he small following, I don't know. I mean, he's the head of Ethiopian melody. He should talk like an Ethiopian. But his remarks definitely were controversial. Who established Ethiopia? There is serious difference of opinion between Romos and Amharas. Uh, I don't want to go into detail. People would accuse me of uh, fueling tensions. I have been covering Ethiopia for uh, years now. I know what Oromos think, what Tagareans and Amharas think, how Ethiopia was established, who developed it, who is responsible for today's uh, conflict. So, Jula should not go into the past. He should talk about the present, talk about Ethiopia giving equal uh, weight and importance to the concerns and interests of all Ethiopian ethnic groups. Yes, sometimes words are taken out of context too. If words have been taken out of context, Jula can issue a statement. He can clarify. Any clarification from him? I have not seen. If he knows that his uh, talk is being uh, misquoted, why can't he make corrections? Uh, secondly, viewers, uh, Farah Malim, second story about Farah Malim, the third story is about Fanu. Farah Malim, Kenyan member of parliament, uh, again spoke about Ethiopia, Somalia dispute. He's a Somali. In Kenya, he lives, he is a member of parliament. The man was vocal supporter of Ethiopian PMRB during the war on Tagarai. He was a strong critic of TPLF as well. But now, when Somalia and Ethiopia and Ethiopia are uh, confronting each other, he is threatening Ethiopia. Not the first time that he threatened Ethiopia. This time, he says that uh, if uh, there is war, uh, Somalis will unite. He mentioned some counties in Kenya, some places in Ethiopia, Somaliland, that all the people living in these cities, towns will unite in this fight against Ethiopia. 
वाजिर ही मेंशन व्हिच इज इन कैनिया गरीसा अगेन कैनिया हरगैले स्मार रीजन ऑफ इथियोपिया जिगजिगा स्मार रीजन ऑफ इथियोपिया लोहाया सोमाली लैंड एंड सोमालिया so he said that if there is any threat to somalia people from all these places somali people they will unite and they'll defend uh this is not the first time that for a malim has tried to drag kenya into this conflict he has been saying that in the past to that uh, Somalis from Kenya will also join the war in support of Somalia against Ethiopia. He said that in the past too. Again, he's saying the same. He's warning Ethiopia basically. The Ethiopia should not think that war will be between war will be between Ethiopia and Somalia. No, Somalis from all parts of Africa will join the fight against Ethiopia. Last week was a rally by the people of a town in the Mahara region in support of Fano. It's difficult to take out rallies in support of Fano in the Maha region. Rallies can only be taken out in those places which are under the control of Fano. Uh, videos are being shared. I have uh, placed uh, the picture of this rally on the thumbnail. You can see that the rally was taken out in Samada, which is in South Gondar zone of the Amhara region. Fano fighters entered there. They took control of the town. Uh, people then took to the streets to welcome them. Fano commanders delivered speeches there. Uh, a few days ago, I told you about Fano's efforts to establish governments in four or five districts in South Gondar zone. It seems that once again, Fano is on the offensive in South Gondar. Military at the back foot in South Gondar zone of Tamhara. Thank you for watching.